General Mathematics, Tagalog English Discussion. Our most essential learning competency for today is representations of real-life situations using logarithmic function. Simulan natin ang ating ar aralin sa logarithm of a number. Let A, B, and C be positive real numbers such that your B must be greater than 0 and not equal to 1. The logarithm of A with a base B is denoted by logarithm of A with a base B. So, pag sinabi natin logarithm of A with a base B, ito yung kanyang, or ito yung papano siya isulat. And it's defined as C is equal to the logarithm of A with a base B. If and only if your A is equal to B raised to, see as you can see, itong dalawang to, this is in the form of logarithm and this one is in the form of exponential. So, B here is the base and as you can see, yung base natin napunta sa baba, yung A natin siya yung pinakasagot, napunta siya dito, and then yung C natin, this is our exponent, so siya yung naging sagot ng logarithm. So, C is equal to logarithm of A with a base B if and only if A is equal to B raised to C. So, ano ang dapat nating tandaan? Una, logarithmic functions and exponential functions are inverses. So, ang kabaliktaran ng logarithmic functions ay exponential function. Kaya, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung A is equal to B raised to C, this is actually exponential and then uh, nailipat natin siya into C is equal to logarithm of A base B. Number two, in logarithmic form, logarithm of A base B, yung B natin ay hindi pwedeng mag-negative. So, cannot be negative. And then, yung number three natin, yung buong value ng logarithm of A base B can be negative naman. So, yung buong value niya, pwedeng mag-negative, pero yung base niya na B, hindi pwedeng mag-negative. That is logarithm. Ano naman ang tinatawag na common logarithm? Common logarithm are logarithm with base 10. The base is usually omitted when writing common logarithms. So, pwede na natin hindi siya isulat yung base 10 kapag nagsusulat tayo ng logarithm, understood na meron ka ng base 10 sa iyong logarithm. Katulad nito, logarithm of x, understood yon na meron tayong base 10 sa ilalim. So, pwede hindi na natin ilagay yung 10. Meron din tayong tinatawag na natural logarithm. So, sa common logarithm, ang base natin ay 10. Sa natural logarithm, ang base natin dito ay E. So, kapag ang logarithm natin ay base E, pwede natin siyang isulat as LN. So, LN signifies that our logarithm is a natural logarithm. In other words, kapag ka meron tayong logarithm of X, katulad nito, with the base E, yung nasa baba, Pwedeng hindi na ganito yung way natin ng pagsusulat. Pwede na lang natin siyang isulat as ln of x. Understood na yon na yon ay logarithm with base e. So, let us proceed now to the process on how we write exponential equation into logarithmic form whenever possible. So, kung ang kabaliktaran ng exponential ay logarithmic form, ibig sabihin, pwede nating isulat ang exponential equation sa logarithmic. Let us have several examples. I have here nine examples and let us answer one by one. Isa-isahin natin ang ating mga given. Una, 5 cube is equal to 125. So, paano natin isusulat itong exponential equation na ito into logarithmic form? So, ang sagot ay logarithm of 125 base 5 equals 3. So, kung mapapansin natin yung 125, ito siya, yung ating base 5 napunta siya sa ilalim as our subscript 
and then yung ating exponent, siya yung naging sagot ng ating logarithm. So, that's how we write exponential equation into logarithmic form. How about the second one? So, yung second natin, that's logarithm of 1 over 49, base 7 is equal to negative 2. How about yung number 3? So, sa so number 3, that's logarithm of 100 equals 2. As you can see, wala tayong base dito or yung base natin is 10 but it is omitted in our logarithm. Because, ang tawag dito sa logarithm na may base na 10 ay common logarithm. So, yung 100 natin, this is our 100, yung ating exponent na 2, that's the answer of our logarithm. And then, yung base 10 natin, supposed to be dapat isusulat natin dito as subscript. But since this is a common logarithm, pwedeng hindi na natin siya isulat. Let us proceed in number 4. This is logarithm of 4 over 9, base 2 third equals 2. And then number 5, logarithm of 10,000, base 0.1 equals negative 4. Let's continue. Number 6, 4 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, ano po ang ating logarithmic form nito? This is logarithm of 1, base 4 is equal to 0. How about number 7? This is logarithm of 21, base 7 equals B. How about our number 8? As you can see, our base here is E or what we call the natural logarithm. So, paano natin isusulat ito? So, this is ln x equals 2. Or pwede rin natin isulat na logarithm of x base e is equal to 2. So, itong part na to ay ginawa nating ln because that is already a natural logarithm. How about yung number 9 natin? So, yung number 9 natin, as you can see, this cannot be written in logarithmic form. Since the base is negative, sinabi ko kanina na ang ating base ay hindi pwedeng mag-negative. So, since our negative 2 here, which is our base, is negative, ibig sabihin hindi natin siya pwedeng ilagay sa form ng logarithm. Balik na rin naman natin ang ating direction. So ngayon, isusulat naman natin ang logarithmic equation into exponential form. So paano natin siya isusulat? So I have here 7 examples of logarithmic equations and we are going to rewrite this one into exponential form. Unahin natin yung logarithm of m equals n. So, paano natin siya isusulat into an exponential form? So, the answer is 10 raised to n equals m. As you can see, ito ay common logarithm. When we say common logarithm, meron siyang base na 10, which is omitted. So, yung 10 na yon, this is our base, ito siya. And then, yung ating n, yung sagot sa logarithm, Yan ang ating exponent. At yung m naman natin, siya yung magiging sagot natin sa exponential form. So, that's how we write logarithmic equation into exponential form. Let us have number 2. So, sa number 2, ang base natin ay 3 raised to 4 equals 81. How about number 3? This is logarithm of 5 with a base of square root of 5 equals 2. So, paano natin to isusulat sa exponential form? So, this is equal to the square root of 5 squared equals 5. How about yung number 4? So, yung number 4 natin, 3 port raised to negative 3, or quantity 3 port raised to negative 3 is equal to 64 over 27. Hindi mo pwedeng isulat yung 3 port at hindi mo lalagyan siya ng parenthesis, dapat may parenthesis yung ating sagot dito. 
to have an answer of 64 over 27. Number 5, our exponential form is 4 raised to 1 half equals 2. Actually, 1 half is, can be, in, uh, this is a fractional exponent that means square root also. So, pwede natin itong isulat as square root of 4 which is equal to 2. Next is 10 raised to negative 3 is equal to 0 0.001 or pwede natin isulat as 10 raised to negative 3 is equal to 1 over 1,000 because 1 over 1,000 is just the same, parehas lang yan ng 0 0.001. How about number 7? As you can see, number 7 is ln8. Pag sinabi natin ln, this is a natural logarithm with a base e. Ibig sabihin, pag sinulat natin yan into an exponential form, this will become e raised to 8, a equals 8. Ulit, this is e raised to a equals 8. Let us proceed now to the real life applications of logarithm. So, unang application ng logarithm natin ay sa earthquake magnitude on a Richter scale. So, ito ay ina-apply natin in order to determine the magnitude of an earthquake. Second application of our logarithm, we can identify the sound intensity in decibel. And last, we can apply our logarithm to determine the pH level of certain material or solution. So, let's start with the first application, which is determining the magnitude of an earthquake on Richter scale. So, in 1935, Charles Richter of California Institute of Technology proposed a logarithmic scale to measure the intensity of an earthquake. So, he defined the magnitude R of an earthquake as a function of its amplitude on a standard seismograph. So, the formula indicates the magnitude of an earthquake is based on the logarithm of the ratio between the energy it released and the energy released by the reference earthquake. So, ang formula natin ay R is equal to 2 over 3 or 2 third times the logarithm of E or the energy that is released divided by 10 raised to 4.4. Where E, yung in natin, that is the uh, energy, the unit of energy is in joules. This is the energy released by the earthquake. The quantity 10 raised to 4.40 is the energy released by a, by a very small reference earthquake. Let us have an example. Suppose that an earthquake released approximately 10 raised to 12 joules of energy. Letter A, what is the magnitude on a Richter scale? And letter B, how much more energy does this earthquake release than that by the reference earthquake? So we are going to have a representation of this into logarithm. But since there is already question or questions in our problem, sasagutin na rin natin ito. So, let us now answer our problem. So, ang unang tanong is, what is the magnitude on a Richter scale? So, since ang ating I dito, let us solve now. In our letter A, since ang I natin dito, I is equal to 10 raised to 12. This is our E in our problem or the energy released by the earthquake. Uh, we all know that our R, the formula of our R, is equal to 2 third logarithm of E over 10 raised to 4.4. So, if we are going to substitute E, which is 10 raised to 12 in our example, our formula, this will become 2 third logarithm of 10 raised to 12 all over 10 raised to 4.4. So, continuing the process, this will become 2 third 
logarithm of this is uh, 10 raised to 12 divided by 10 raised to 4.4. We are going to subtract the exponent. So 12 minus 4.4, this is equivalent to 10 raised to 7.6. So this is the answer in the division of 10 raised to 12 over 10 raised to 4.4. And the next one, as you can see, this one is a common logarithm. When we say common logarithm, there is already the base 10 here. Kapag merong base 10 tayo, and as you can see, this one is also 10. If I'm going to rewrite this part on, only, this is logarithm base 10, 10 raised to 7.6. So this one is the same. This one 10 and also this one. So Kapag kaganyan yung ating uh, logarithm, we can cancel already this one with our base 10, this one, this, this logarithm. So, ang magiging sagot natin dito sa part na to is 7.6. Going back to the problem, so this becomes 2 third times 7.6 na lang siya. Kasi yung buong logarithm of 10 raised uh, to 7.6 with the base 10, na-cancel natin yung logarithm of 10 base 10. Kaya naging 7.6 na lang. And then solving for this, 2 third times 7.6 or 2 times 7.6 divided by 3. Approximately, our um, magnitude or the earthquake magnitude is 5.1. So, yun po yung magnitude ng ating earthquake. Pagka 5.1, this is already strong. Pag sinabing strong, strong shaking and rocking felt throughout building. Hanging objects swing violently. Ibig sabihin kung merong mga nakahang na objects ay mararamdaman na. Gagalaw na siya. Strong shaking na kasi siya. So, ayan yung magnitude 5. How about letter B? Sa letter B natin, we are going to determine how much more energy does this earthquake release than that by the reference earthquake. So, yung ating uh, energy na ni-release ay 10 raised to 12. We're just going to divide this by 10 raised to 4.4. Ito yung ating energy or reference earthquake. So, this one will become 10 raised to 7.6. And when we compute that, this is approximately 3981071. So this is 39,810,717 times more energy than that. by the reference earthquake. Okay, so yan po ang sagot natin. Applying it into the logarithms or solving our problem and representing it using logarithm. Munta naman tayo sa pangalawang application ng logarithm, ang, ang sound intensity. So, in acoustics, the decibel, which is the, the representation of that, or the symbol of that is D, B, small d, and capital B. These are level of a sound. In the formula, D or capital D is equal to 10 times the logarithm of I over 10 raised to negative 12. Where yung I natin, this is the sound intensity in watts per meter squared. The quantity 10 raised to negative 12 naman, watts per meter squared, this is the least audible sound a human can hear. So, punta tayo sa ating halimbawa. The decibel level sound in a quiet office is 10 raised to negative 6 watts per meter squared. Letter A, what is the corresponding sound intensity in decibel? So, we are going to compute here the sound intensity in decibel. And then, letter B, 
how much more intense is this sound than the least audible sound a human can hear? Punta tayo sa ating example. So, sa ating example, may given na uh, sound intensity which is equal to 10 raised to negative 6 watts per meter squared. So, letter A natin, we are going to solve for sound intensity in decibel. Formula natin dito, D is equal to 10 times the logarithm of I all over 10 raised to negative 12. So, solving for the decibel, we're going to substitute lang ang ating sound intensity. So, 10 times the logarithm of I, ang I natin ay 10 raised to negative 6 all over 10 raised to 12. So, continuing the process, 10 times the logarithm of 10 raised to 6 divided by 10 raised to negative 12, that is 10 raised to positive 6. Kasi, negative 6 minus negative 12 is positive 6. And then, after that, as you can see, this is a common logarithm with the base 10. And also, we have 10 also here. Pwede natin yung cancel in. So, ang matitira na lang dito ay 10 times 6. So, 10 times 6 is 60. Ibig sabihin, ang ating decibel ay 60 decibel. So, when we say 60 decibel, yung mga ingay na maririnig natin kapag ganito yung sound intensity ay ang mga halimbawa nito ay uh, actually from 60 to 85 decibels, ito ay ingay ng vacuum cleaner, washing machine, yung average city traffic at saka television. Yung ingay nun ay nagre-range from 60 to 85 decibels. And then letter B, how much more intense daw? So para masolve natin to, kunin lang natin yung sound intensity na given, 10 raised to negative 6, i-divide natin yan sa uh, least audible sound a human can hear, which is 10 raised to negative 12. So, divide natin yan. We actually divide that kangina. This is equal to 10 raised to 6. And 10 raised to 6 is equal to 1 million. So, ibig sabihin, 1 million times more intense than the least audible sound a human can hear. So, yan po ang sagot natin sa ating example. Punta naman tayo sa pangatlong application ng logarithm sa real life situation. Ito yung pag-determine natin ng pH level. So, in chemistry, the pH level measures the acidity of a water-based solution that is measured by the concentration of hydrogen ions written as uh, H raised to positive in moles per liter in the solution. So, ito yung ating formula to determine kung ano ang pH level ng ating solution. So, pH is equal to negative logarithm of the hydrogen ions. So, parehas lang ito kung isusulat natin as pH is equal to logarithm of 1 over the hydrogen ion. Punta na tayo sa ating halimbawa. A 1 liter solution contains 0 0.00001 moles of hydrogen ions. Find its pH level. So, solving for our problem. So, hahanapin natin dito yung ating pH level. So, given in our problem is 0 0.001 or this is the moles of hydrogen ion. So, again, the moles of hydrogen ion or H raised to positive is equal to 0 0.00001. So, pwede natin itong isulat itong 0 0.0001 as 10 raised to negative 5. So, bibilangin lang natin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and in the powers of 10, is it is 10 raised to negative 5. And then, we are going to solve now the pH level using our formula. So, ang formula natin, pH is equal to negative logarithm of the hydrogen 
ion. And since we know already the hydrogen ion, it is given in the problem. So this will become negative logarithm of 10 raised to negative 5. So yan po yung ating hydrogen ion. Sinabsitute lang po natin sa H raised to positive. And then as you can see, this is also a common logarithm. With e, wherein, meron tayong base 10 pero omitted siya dito. So part na to. So since... Uh, meron tayong base 10 and also this one is 10. Pwede natin itong i-cancel. So, this is negative. Ang matitira na lamang ay negative times negative 5 which is our exponent. So, ito yung matira. So, negative times negative 5 is positive 5. Ibig sabihin, ang pH level ng ating solution or 1 liter solution is 5. So, pag 5 ang ating uh, pH level, kahanay lang niya yung mga black coffee o kaya banana. Yung banana at saka yung black coffee, ang pH level niyan ay 5. So, parang ganito yung ating solution na sinog ngayon, 5. So, let us try now different examples. I have here number 1. This is a problem about the magnitude of an earthquake. Number two, I have a problem about sound intensity. And number three, I have a problem about pH level. Let us now try to answer the problem. Yung number one natin, suppose that an earthquake release approximately 10 raised to 8 joules of energy. So yung first question, what is the magnitude on a Richter scale? So, we are going to use the formula here to determine the magnitude. And then, yung letter B natin, how much more energy does this earthquake release than the reference earthquake? So, parang parehas lang ito sa ating halimbawa kanina. So, solving for this letter A, we are going to solve for our uh, magnitude of in Richter scale. So, R is equal to, let us have the formula, 2 third times the logarithm of E divided by 10 raised to 4.4. So, given in our problem, ang given sa ating problem ay yung uh, energy that is released by the earthquake. So, E is equal to 10 raised to 8 joules. So, ito yung energy natin. So, substituting the given in our formula, solving for letter A, logarithm of 10 raised to 8 all over 10 raised to 4.4. So this one, 2 third logarithm, 10 raised to 8 divided by 10 raised to 4.4. This is 10 raised to 3.6. Okay. So again, canceling this one, uh, cancel natin yan kasi logarithm with the base 10 yan, this will become 2 third I-multiply natin yan sa 3.6. So, ilan na yung ating magnitude? So, 2 times 3.6 divided by 3. So, we have 2.4. So, ibig sabihin ng ating magnitude ay 2, 2 or 2.4. Pagka ganyan ng ating magnitude, ibig sabihin nito slightly felt. Yan ibig sabihin ng magnitude na yan. Ibig sabihin... Kung meron tayong mga hanging objects, uh, nagsiswing lang siya slightly. So, mahina lang yung ating earthquake. Pag ang ating energy ay 10 raised to 8 lamang. How about yung letter B natin? So, yung letter B natin, how much more energy daw? So, given ang ating E again, 10 raised to 8, i-divide natin yan sa uh, reference earthquake, which is 10 raised to 4.4. So, this is 10 raised to 3.6. And computing this one, 10 raised to 3.6, this is approximately 3981. So, 3,981 times more energy than the reference earthquake. So, ito po ang sagot natin sa ating example number 
Punta tayo sa ating second example, which is about sound intensity. The problem is, the intensity of sound of a lone mower is 10 raised to negative 3 watts per meter squared. So, ang unang tanong, what is the corresponding sound intensity in decibels? Letter B, how much more intense is this sound than the least sound a human can hear? So, solving for this, ang given sa ating problem, ang given dito ay ang sound intensity which is equal to 10 raised to negative 3. So, solving for letter A, we're going to use the formula in finding the sound intensity in decibels, so that's D, is equal to 10 times the logarithm of I, all over 10 raised to negative 12. So, substituting the value of our I, this is 10 times the logarithm of 10 raised to negative 3 over 10 raised to negative 12. So, this is equal to 10 times the logarithm of 10 raised to negative 3 divided by 10 raised to negative 12, that is 10 raised to 9. So, again, we can cancel this one. So, 10 times 9, 9 na lang ang natira, this is equal to 90 decibels. So, 90 decibels, uh, kapag ang range ng ating sound ay 90 to 100 decibe decibels, ay uh, ingay na ito na maririnig natin sa isang motorcycle o kaya sa isang garbage truck. So, yun yung decibels from 90 to 100 decibels. Punta tayo sa letter B. So, we are going to determine how much more intense. So, using our intensity given 10 raised to negative 3 divided by the least sound the human can hear, that's 10 raised to negative 12. So, solving for this, we have 10 raised to 9. So, 10 raised to 9 is equivalent to 1 billion. So, it means that 1 billion times more intense than the least sound a human can hear. So, yan po ang sagot sa ating second example. Punta naman tayo sa ating third example. A 1 liter solution contains 0 0.01 moles of hydrogen ion. So, we are going to determine here its pH level. So, computing for this or representing this one into logarithm, we have the formula of logarithm in our pH level. Ang formula natin dito or pH is equal to negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion. So, ito po yung ating formula. Given sa ating problem, ang ating hydrogen ion, so, ang hydrogen ion dito is 0 0.01 or the power of 10, this is 10 raised to negative 2. So, imumove lang natin to 1, 2. So, yan, yeah, naging negative 2. And then, solving for the pH level, so this is pH is equal to negative logarithm of 10 raised to negative 12. And then, afterwards, the same procedure, ikakancel natin yan. So, magiging ating pH level ay negative times negative 2. The answer is positive 2. So, kapag ang ating pH level ay 2, ang corresponding uh, equivalent niyan ay yung sa lemon juice, vinegar, yung mga suka. So, yan po ang ating halimbawa na may pH level na 2. This is the end of our topic. Our references, general mathematics of DepEd and the general mathematics pivot for a calibration.